ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ज्ञानतिरांद से ज्ञानाजन शलाकय चक्षुर्मील मेन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतल श्रीमते भक्तवेदात स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषाश्विनी वादि पाश्चात्य देशधारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सादि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके टीचिंग ऑफ क्वीन कुंती चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री कुंती देवी सेस इमे जन पदा स्वर्धा सुपक्वषधी वीरुदा द ग्रेन आर अबंडेंट द ट्रीज फुल ऑफ फ्रूट the rivers flowing the hills full of minerals and the ocean full of wealth what more should one want the oyster produces pearls and formerly people decorated their bodies with pearls valuable stones silk gold and silver hmm now today still okay this fashion has come back to wear pearls i guess <coughs> but yeah mostly artificial jewelry <laughs> सिल्क या वेरी रेयरली यूज बट वेर आर दो थिंग्स नाउ नाउ विद एडवांसमेंट ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन देर आर सो मेनी ब्यूटिफुल गर्ल्स हो नो आर्नमेंट ऑफ गोल्ड पर्ल्स और जुअल्स बट ओनली प्लास्टिक बैंगल्स सो वॉट आर द यूज ऑफ इंडस्ट्री एंड स्लॉट हाउसेस प्रोपर दिस ब्यूटी इज कंप्लीट वेन दीज नैचुरल प्रोड्यूसेस आर एक्चुअली वॉन Hmm. By God's arrangement, one can have enough food grains, enough milk, enough fruits and vegetables, and nice, clear river water. But now I have seen, while traveling in Europe, that all the rivers there have become nasty. In Germany, in France, and also in Russia and America, I have seen that rivers are nasty. By nature's way, the water in the ocean is kept clear like crystal, and the same water is transferred to the rivers, but without salt. so that one may take nice water from the river this is nature's way See, it's so amazing propat gives such insights means uh, the same water in the ocean which has so much of salt is transferred to rivers but without salt uh, look at krishna's creation just amazing this is nature's way and nature's way means krishna's way so what is the use of constructing huge water works to supply water So, Prabhupada is saying, you know, not utilizing the natural resource, you are maintaining, you're spoiling it, and then you are creating your own solution. What is the use? Hmm. This is also our problem with modern uh, life problems. Prabhupada said, like in Kali Yuga, you know, people try to find solutions to material problems and create new problems. what is the use no use nature has already given us everything if you want wealth we may collect pearls and become rich huh? somebody wants to become rich can do this there is no need to become rich by starting some huge factory to produce auto bodies by such industrial enterprises we have simply created troubles otherwise we need only depend on krishna and krishna's mercy because by krishna's glance tava vikshit aihi everything is set right again you know we need to be on the receiving end of this merciful glance of krishna uh, so krishna glances at anybody who is sincerely trying to serve him follow his instructions and so we just need this glance of krishna that's all nothing else is required so if we simply plead for krishna's glance there will be no question of scarcity scarcity or need it is also so nice every each and every line is you know is life changing simply plead for krishna's glance we should plead for krishna's merciful glance and we don't have to ask anything and krishna will look at the devotee simply if we are engaged in his service we don't have to even ask everything will be complete 
the idea of the krishna consciousness movement therefore is to depend on nature's gifts and the grace of krishna people actually this also you know this grace of krishna is also something that even devotees sometimes are not fully convinced or they don't want to be fully dependent on the grace of krishna uh, we want to create we want to try and create our own solutions uh, so many times you know i've seen devotees <laughs> it's so ironical actually you know started this uh, hmm. mind control and happiness workshop basically introducing people to krishna consciousness and chanting and then i was just uh, you know telling a few devotees saying that uh, you know if you are so if you only look so worried why will people come and attend the workshop they'll say our oh, people who are chanting only are like this we are worried because we are actually not uh, dependent we are not wanting to depend on the grace of krishna krishna will show his mercy to every devotee right if we we have to just have faith and depend on him that's all and no need to get worried tens people are worried about their children's future about their financial challenges about this about that yeah i mean no doubt that everybody has so many problems in their life but if we simply sincerely try to serve krishna krishna will take care of the rest and uh, krishna saying in bhagavad gita yoga kshemo maham miham but we have to we have to serve in that mood ananya chintan toma right without getting distracted by all these things we should serve krishna and serving krishna is always so blissful you know simply get few people together and do kirtan that's all right or simply hear from bhagavatam or hear from krishna book that's all simple simple process and we can remain blissful people say that the population is increasing and therefore they're checking this by artificial means why go pad is like the birds and bees are increasing their populations and have no contraceptives but are they in need of food do you ever see birds or animals dying for want of food perhaps in the city although not very often but if you go to the jungle we shall see that all the elephants lions tigers and other animals are very stout and strong who is supplying them food some of them are vegetarian some of them are non vegetarians but none of them are in want of food of course by nature's way the tiger being a non vegetarian does not get food every day after all who will face a tiger to become its food who will say to the tiger sir i am a philanthropist <laughs> and i have come to you to give you food so take my body no one therefore the tiger has difficulty finding food and as soon as the tiger is out there is an animal that follows it and makes a sound like fire fire so that the other animals will know <laughs> now the tiger is out so by nature's way the tiger has difficulty but still krishna supplies it food after about a week the tiger will get a chance to catch an animal and because it does not get fresh food daily it will keep the carcass in some bush and eat a little at a time since the tiger is very powerful people want to become like lion or a tiger but that is not a very good proposition because if one actually becomes like a tiger one won't get uh, food daily but we'll have to search for food with great labor or such a beautiful comparison if you become like tiger aggressive you know like pouncing on other people to get work extracted out of them we proposing we won't get food daily we'll have to search for food with great labor what is happening right so much of so much of effort going and hardly people who are having you know all these big big uh, companies etc they they don't have time to even eat food mm. one becomes a vegetarian however one will get food every day the food for a vegetarian is available everywhere now in every city there are slaughter houses but does this mean that the slaughter houses can supply enough so that one can live by eating only meat no there will not be an adequate supply when meat eaters have to eat grains fruits and vegetables along with their slice of meat till for that daily slice of meat they kill so many poor animals how sinful this is if people commit such sinful activities how can they be happy so we should tell this to non vegetarians if you commit sinful activities how can you be happy if you become the reason for somebody else's suffering how can you be without suffering mm-hmm. this should not this killing should not be done therefore people are unhappy and that's why we should uh, give laws of nature life comes from life 
these kind of books we should distribute actually more laws of nature uh, we should give this book we should distribute it to each and every non vegetarian person who is eating non vegetarian give him the book free mm, actually this is also a good project you know go to all these non vegetarian joints and give them this book free and tell them we are just giving you new year gift enjoy But if one becomes Krishna conscious and simply depends on Krishna's glance, the Vikshi Taihi, Krishna will supply everything. There'll be no question of scarcity. This is true, but we don't have faith in this statement. We don't have faith because we don't have faith. We are trying to supply, get the supply ourselves. This is why you know, like when devotees completely surrender to Krishna, so many people are. Concerned, saying that oh no no how will how will how will they manage supplies? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, if anybody is committed to any level of Krishna consciousness, like for example, say we have a temple, we have a small center, we have a house, everything Krishna takes care. Everything Krishna takes care, provided we do His work, He will take care of our work. There some. sometimes there appears to be scarcity and sometimes we find that grains and fruits are produced in such a huge quantity that people cannot finish eating them so this is a question of krishna's glance if krishna likes he can produce a huge quantity of grains fruits and vegetables but if krishna desires to restrict the supply what good will meat do actually this we see every week in our center right when how much ever prasadam comes krishna sends so many souls nobody goes without food Jagannath is so merciful. Nobody goes without prasadam, right? In fact, there will always be more, so that we can go and distribute more mercy, right? Some ten, fifteen people prasadam. Uh, there will be somebody who will be, you know, who is uh, who is eligible or qualified to get that mercy, and, and that person will get Jagannath's prasad every weekend. We see how many ever more people. that much prasadam somehow krishna would have arranged right so he if he likes of course he likes he likes to take care of you know his places of worship uh, he will give mercy you may eat me or i may eat you but that will not solve the problem for real peace and tranquility and a sufficient supply of milk water and everything else we need we simply have to depend on krishna again this is absolutely true in our household life as well Mm. so everything will be supplied sufficient supply there will be sufficient supply uh, you can ask this to anybody who is completely surrendered to krishna dependent on krishna for their livelihood uh, you can you can uh, talk to them person you can find out saying that yes yes krishna is there krishna is taking care there is no scarcity there is no question of scarcity This is what Bhakti Vinod Thakur teaches us when he says, "Maro bi rakho bi yo jo icha tohar." By dear Lord, I simply surrender unto you and depend on you. Now, if you like, you may kill me, or else you may give me protection. And Krishna says in reply, "Yes, Sarva Dharman Parityaja Mama Ekam Shanam Raja." Simply surrender exclusively unto me. He does not say, "Yes, depend on me," and also depend on your slaughterhouses and factories. See, look at this. What a powerful statement. people actually interpret this sarva dharman paritejya as simply surrender exclusive unto me okay don't go to other demigods okay but do your karma yeah do your karma but propadi is saying do your karma the right way don't do ugra karma first second one is to do follow varnashrama so after a certain stage exclusively just depend on me just serve me that's all nothing else is required see propa this such this is the conversation this is what pure devotees understand which we don't hmm so we should look at these statements no he says depend only on me hum tum sarva pape bhi moksha ishami i will rescue from the results of your sinful activities but that is provided we are not doing additional sinful activities this is what chaitanya mahaprabhu said when he gave you know mercy to jaga and madhai he said i am ready to excuse you for the offense you committed you know because you hit nithan and the prabhu but provided you live a sinless life you live a pious life pious life means no ugra karma no ugra karma pious life means no ugra karma right no papa no ugra karma 
because ugra karma is also papa ugra karma is basically factories lot houses are sinful so krishna is saying just depend on me just depend on me just depend on me just depend on me depend only on me see this is why krishna consciousness means shraddha faith and that's why rupa goswami says ado shraddha first we have to have faith saying that krishna is there he will take care of things why am i so worried but we always want to do things ourselves see this one directly krishna is saying in bhagavad gita it's not even like somebody has interpreted krishna krishna is directly saying just depend on me i will take care of things because we have lived so many years without being krishna conscious we have lived only a sinful life but krishna assures us that as soon as one surrenders to him he immediately squares all accounts and puts an end to all one sinful activities so that one may begin a new life see this has two things here one is sinful reactions the other is sinful activities krishna will anyway square all accounts which means all sinful reactions are taken away but at the same time sinful activities also have to be stopped when we initiate disciples we therefore tell them now the account is squared now don't commit sinful activities anymore see account is squared meaning when actually but of course this initiation is not just some uh, name sake initiation now right? this is a surrendered initiation meaning the a devotee has surrendered to guru diksha kale bhakta kare atma samarpan when a disciple does atma samarpan meaning completely surrenders to guru and krishna the account is squared meaning all is previous sinful active sinful all aprarabdha kuta bija are destroyed aprarabdha is sinful reactions that we have to suffer in the next life kuta bija still initial stages only prarabdha remains that too for some time till the devotee actually completely surrender stops sinful activities krishna wants to just test that after that prarabdha which is suffering of this life is also eradicated of course still there seem to be semblance of suffering semblance means it looks like suffering but actually it is not suffering meaning it's it is suffering but it's not because of karma phala karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bajam brahma samhita says so actually if one has surrendered to guru and krishna then actually his sinful activities are all destroyed even prarabdha is destroyed but uh because devotee has to still learn to develop attachment to krishna krishna creates situations which look like prarabdha which look like sin like karma phala but actually it is not hmm. so which is why it is very difficult um, then we keep thinking oh i'm suffering i'm suffering krishna is not giving any mercy no krishna is giving so much mercy krishna is giving mercy so that you can become dear to him uh that is the uh, that is the vision that's how we have to understand mm. so this is very important propa is so clearly saying when we initiate disciples we therefore tell them now the account is squared meaning all karma phala is destroyed now don't commit sinful activities anymore mm. so this is very important if we have not come to this my mood that right, saying that okay i'm not going to i'm going to live a pious life then there's no point in initiation because the whole point of initiation is actually when a devotee thinks that okay the goal of my life is to achieve krishna now i don't want anything in my life that's when a devotee should get in initiated that's that's the process not for anything else not for uh, you know getting some spiritual name for getting some uh, tulsi beads getting some recognition by other people no if it is that way, i want krishna in my life that's all then i have to surrender to guru that's when one has to surrender to guru nowadays unfortunately it has become like a like a you know fashion simply everybody wants to take get initiated because people say ah once you come into krishna consciousness you should get initiated 
yeah absolutely we should get initiated but provided we come to that platform that mood of saying okay my life is now dedicated to krishna to guru and krishna when somebody comes to that platform we have to get initiated meaning that point of time we don't have anything else we don't need anything else in life we are not focused on anything else we just want we just want krishna we just want to please guru and krishna that such a disciple account is squared for such a disciple right with because uh, otherwise this doesn't have to be set for such a disciple but because devotees don't surrender I, this will not be applicable to them it is like chanting hari krishna we say when you when one chants hari krishna he gets love of krishna that is only when we chant offenselessly right not for everybody so like uh, same way the account is squared but not for everybody for those who have actually met the qualification criteria which is full surrender one should not think that because the holy name of krishna can nullify sinful activities one may commit a little sinful activity and chant hare krishna to nullify it that is the greatest offense nam no baladasya hi pap buddhi hi the members of some religious orders go to church and confess their sins but then they again commit the same sinful activities what then is the value of their confession one may confess my lord out of my ignorance i committed the sin and one has to confess actually you know if we do something wrong we have to confess we have to beg for pardon from the lord forgiveness but one should not plan i shall commit sinful activities and then go to church and confess them and then the sins will be nullified and i can begin a new chapter of sinful life similarly one should not knowingly take advantage of the chanting of the hare krishna to nullify sinful activities so that one may then begin sinful acts again we should be very careful before taking initiation one promises to have no illicit sex no intoxications no gambling and no meat eating and this vow one should strictly follow then one will be clean if one keeps oneself clean in this way and always engages in the this is the answer to all our questions if one keeps oneself clean in this way always engages in devotional service his life will be a success and there will be no scarcity of anything he wants anything he wants propad is saying see this we should understand right anything he wants and somebody who dedicates him who's clean and dedicates his life to devotional service what will he want he is not going to want sense gratification uh, like yesterday radhanath prabhu radha gopinath prabhu was saying that sense satisfaction sense gratification the senses have to be satisfied but we don't have to gratify them meaning just giving them more than required Just take as much as is required. That much Krishna will absolutely provide. But if somebody is greedy, you know, wanting more and more, Krishna will not give because he knows that this is going to take this devotee away from me. Yeah. So we are absolutely hundred percent in Krishna's control. You know, and devotee is so mercifully. Just imagine, uh, the most powerful, the most merciful Lord is controlling our lives. Uh, so we should understand saying that we are so fortunate that krishna krishna is directly controlling our lives and then what is the need for anxiety what is the need for over endeavor what is the need for concerns worries what is the problem why can't we just simply surrender and serve krishna what is holding us back uh, just imagine like krishna is standing beside us saying dear devotee i am here i am taking care of you but then we say no no krishna but uh, you know krishna says why but i'm here i'm telling you i'm here uh, and then we create our own mental concoctions everybody you know just not to completely depend on krishna we have so many theories which are not true at all which are simply speculative so it's such a easy way simply depend on krishna like a helpless child dependent on parents that's all simply depend on krishna whatever duties are there based on ashrama do it and then dedicate everything else for to his service for his pleasure that's all that's all needs to be done propad used to say what is the difficulty huh? so option is with us whether we want to achieve perfection in this life or we want to go on come back again hmm. 
and like i keep saying multiple times please remember this if you say ah yeah no no but that's not possible for me krishna will say tathastu if you say no no it's absolutely possible why because it's not me because it's krishna because it's krishna who's going to give his mercy krishna is going to help me krishna is there with me so everything is possible then krishna will say yes tathastu so just have this positivity people talk about positive think positive yes the only positive we can think of is in relation with krishna you know when krishna is there in life then there is no negative there is only positive 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 but if you want to think positive being ourselves independent of krishna then it's foolishness it's never going to happen so the beauty of being under krishna's protection is this it's so amazing Anyway, I'll stop here. We finish this chapter. Anybody has any comments, questions? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, we talk about surrender all the time, right? But mm -hmm. then we have our prescribed duties. Then we have karma, and uh, and anybody who does anything, like whether mm -hmm. you're running any work, mm -hmm. you never work to be uh, defeated or to face negative mm -hmm. uh, to. Uh, we always want to yeah. you know want good results that's what mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. we understand the results are not in our hands right mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if you don't work prabhu and if you don't mm -hmm. endeavor whether it's krishna mm -hmm. consciousness or a kar kar karmic life mm -hmm. we have to work towards it isn't mm -hmm. it and okay. then when you're working you you find yourself you're the doer you if mm -hmm. you you cannot sit back and say nahi krishna dekh lega main baitha hu mood roti mood mein roti to nahi jayega na prabhu aapko kaam to karna you have to yeah. do that then why yeah. like you know But the ultimate is yes. The results are not in uh, in your hand. It's in mm -hmm. Krishna's hand. Then where 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 actually do you surrender? Okay. I don't know if you've got what I'm trying yeah, to yeah. put so across. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So Arjuna, think about Arjuna, right? Was Arjuna surrendered? Uh, probably in the morning, uh, in the class in the morning also. He he said he did his prescribed duty. He had his goal. And like yeah. Bima said, when you're eating in the dark, you don't have to see anything. The hand goes right into the mouth, so that's how he became a good shooter. Yeah. Like in the darkness, he shot. But is yeah. it? I mean, like, is that sort of an endeavor with us? Uh, uh, I mean, okay, Kunti Maharani, you you talk about. Does that? No, we don't want. To, we don't want. We don't want Kunti Maharani. Kunti Maharani yeah. is too glorious, right? Yeah. I'm saying Arjuna, right? Yeah, See, but... think think about Arjuna, right? Arjuna just simply had to fight. That's all. right when ashwatthama through those uh, you know the brahmastra yeah. all the pandavas are actually they are trying to take out their weapons to counteract it they are trying their duty they are doing their duty they are not sitting and saying looking at krishna krishna ha ah, now you do no they are trying to take out their weapons and krishna is saying are baba this won't work there is not enough enough time for them to react it's going to just destroy them so what krishna does He immediately solves for them So it's not that devotees put hat by hat, by the dal ke bedte hai. No, everybody is endeavoring, right? Like yesterday, Radha Radha Gopinath Prabhu was saying, materialists are also endeavoring, devotees are also endeavoring. There is no question of sitting. I mean, somebody was asking me, saying that Prabhu, what what do you do morning to evening? I said I have no time. I just don't have time. You know, so it's not that we just sit idle, right? It, it just depends on for whom are we working. This is the question to be answered. For whom are we working, right? and which is why shastra very clearly demarks this without any confusion saying that till somebody is in grahastha has grahastha responsibilities and i told this multiple times grahastha responsibilities means basically just getting our children married that is the end of grahastha responsibility as per shastra till that time because there is need for money there is need for this that and all that a grahastha works right but he is not working for just you know his own uh, you know happiness or he just saying okay i have to i have these responsibilities okay i need to get my daughter married okay i need whatever 20 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees whatever depends on each person's uh, position stature status etc etc whatever it is so then he is he is working towards accumulating that money uh, he has to you know maybe educate his children whatever so he is doing all that it's not that it's not being done but that's not that's not being done for sense gratification it is just as a matter of responsibility that krishna has already told in bhagavad gita right he is saying just do your duty don't worry about the results don't think you are the doer krishna is saying this right don't think you are the doer you just 
you you are the doer means you are not going to be solely responsible for the outcome right so you just do your duty try right you try rest i will take care if you are dependent on me i will take care if you are dependent on yourself then your karma phala will take care so we can decide how we want to work work is there so two things we have to answer for whom are we working for what are we working so if we are working for krishna then any activity has no karmic reaction if you are working for krishna which means there somebody is going to work earning money getting like you know brahmanand through was doing in early days right getting all the money giving it to prabhupad you can work absolutely you can be a bill billionaire also and work no sinful reaction right because your 100% of your consciousness is just to please krishna is to serve krishna right but at the same time we also have to understand at some point of time we have to draw this line saying that no no i don't want to work now because i want to absorb myself in krishna when are we going to do that we have to do that sometime in our life isn't it because if we are if we are going to go on karma 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 then we're going to come back again because we will not have see once we are engaged in karma it is a mode of passion it's very simple brahma he that's why he wanted to come down as haridas thakur because it's like was a brahma ka you know work you given me i cannot i mean i am in mode of rajoguna i can't i can't just sit and think about you i don't have time so give me time right so he had to come and then is then yes as a devotee he's sitting and chanting he's not doing anything else so we should understand this rajoguna is not sattva guna is what is going to help us to move into shuddha sattva from rajoguna we can't jump into shuddha sattva now rajoguna has to stop sometime in our life it's not said that you know you have to it has to stop early on in your life right now grahastha ashrama is 50 years 55 years 60 years but it has to stop then so that one enters into vana prastha which is sattva guna if you don't come to sattva guna in our life how are we going to think about krishna at the time of death because that can happen only when somebody comes to sattva engages in full time devotional service like prabhupad said for at least 15 to 18 years then perfection is possible so it totally depends on what we want to achieve it's a goal it's a simple very simple thing it's a goal that we have to achieve what we need to do to achieve that goal is has been clearly outlined whether that goal is the most important thing for us or whether something else is important for us that's our call accordingly we'll tread the paths right so everything has been answered in bhagavad gita there is no confusion it's just about whether we are willing to take that direction or not is the question so of so property instead of like when we say it's a karma fall this thing uh, i mean if you if you dovetail it and say it's krishna's mercy or it's krishna this thing it, does it uh, no, can does can you it, please uh, explain i didn't understand no no like usually whenever we do something or whenever whenever the results come we say ye apna karma tha it's your karma like mm-hmm. you know ye, ye karm se hua ye, you know like that's usually the mm-hmm. understanding or the bomb we put across is it, mm-hmm. uh, like you know instead of that when you say okay it was krishna's will uh, like krishna is taking care or like he's done that mm. does does that yeah, i mean that uh, is the gratitude that is a basic lead it towards the surrender yeah yeah it's so that, that is just basic not gratitude that's not surrender no, no that's not surrender that's surrender not is surrender. surrender is when you use that money and give it to krishna that is surrender as in use it give it to krishna meaning suppose say see somebody is working right and then he earns 50 rupees his requirement is 20 rupees and for future he wants to keep another 10 rupees that's okay if he gives that remaining 20 rupees to krishna he surrendered if he keeps the 20 rupees for his own whatever right then he is not it's surrendered it's gratification yeah it's just for his gratification i need only 20 but i'm keeping 40 why am i why do i need 40 i just need 20 even if i stretch it i need 25 suppose say i want to i want to keep 10 in the for the future you know fine till 35 okay i want to keep 15 for the future okay till still 40 till there is 10 remaining and this is true with every individual every 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 individual right there are very few people who are just eating hand to mouth today very very few people right and that whatever excess is coming we are just banking 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 thinking our future our future right okay your future absolutely nobody is saying don't think about your future you don't have five to give out from 50 every month i mean i t- i tell all grahasthas this I, you know which is why my whole uh, i run my center on just on grahasthas right giving monthly donations because i tell them saying boss 
you can't just live so so you know selfishly month on month krishna is giving you so much money you don't want even to take out you know like 5% 10% of your earning that's too selfish that's too selfish you know just do that much at least no what is the problem krishna is giving you so much can't you just pull out 10% of your earnings and give it to krishna okay fine 10% is too much tk do 5% do 1% do something to start with that's when surrender begins that is why for grihasthas charity is number 1 Right. charity is the number one thing they have to do because they have to start thinking saying that this is not mine this is not this is not my my effort it has been given to me it is grace so i have to receive i have to you know at least show my gratitude little gratitude to krishna by giving something for his service otherwise we will continue in this thought process saying that i am the doer i am the owner right and there is no question of trinada pisu nijena there is no question of coming to the mode of thinking i am servant of krishna so grihasthas have to do this they have to have to have to you know and only then over period of time you know over few years they'll come to understand because see they will they'll experience sometime in their life suddenly you know that 40 goes up to 45 and they're not able to give the 10 to krishna but krishna make sure that they get that extra 5 and then they feel confident saying yes krishna is with me you know because i'm i'm continuously serving him he's taking care of my financial challenges my requirements etc then their faith in krishna increases and their surrender increases so somewhere we need to start right somewhere we need to start at least first thing is for grihasthas we have to donate we have to donate as i was telling even the other day i was telling rakal prabhu, prabhu give me all the access to all grihasthas in our temple i'll make sure that everybody gives some donation right because if we have to make them we have to make them realize saying that they just then they, i mean they're just doing lip service they are just not depending on krishna at all you know and krishna is giving them so much they don't want to give a little to krishna every month that's very selfish and this is something that we have to start everybody has to start and then as we make progress as we make progress then we understand we are just not giving krishna uh, money we are also giving him our time as a second step right third is we'll give ourselves but this has to happen in these stages right first give krishna our money second give krishna our time third krishna third third give krishna ourselves that is atman nivedanam completely right ourselves meaning our family our everything we are just dedicating it to just serve krishna that is the top most stage right but we start with giving our lakshmi yes prabhu yeah okay anybody else yeah yeah any other thoughts anybody any questions ओके वेलकम टू डियर जगत गुरु शिल प्रोपाद की जय समवेत गौरव तुंद की जय वांचा कल्पत रूपी अस्य कृपा सिंधु बेवचा पतिता ना पावने बे वैष्णव बे नमो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा पर जी धन्यवाद